Are you ready to create a life you crave? Let's spin that doom loop of negativity into an upward success cycle and start living lucky. Um, What's so funny? Because I had the, the screen up the right way. You pull, you pull it down and then <laughs> Let's start over. Good morning. I'm Jason. And I'm Jana. And we are living lucky. It's National Start Over Day. And it's a good thing because we needed it this That's morning. That's right. Oh, who has a National Start Over Day? We do. Yay. I mean, who, who made that up? I, I'm a little <laughs> bit in a mood. Can you tell? I'm in a little bit of a mood. Because I feel like people are just making up days so then I have something that I have to celebrate. Now, I'm all about celebrations. Don't get me wrong. What can we celebrate today? But <laughs> here's the distinction. I'm going to put a big butt in front of this. and I, I like big butts. No, I don't even like butts. Now I'm turning negative. I'm everything I don't like today. I'm everything I don't like. I'm a big butt. I'm a big butt. I love it. <laughs> I'm a big butt. And You're I don't like I big like butts. It. Who likes big butts? I like big butts and I cannot lie. Whoever whoever came up with that song was brilliant because they pretty much made it accept, acceptable, acceptable to have a big butt. That's what they did. A anywho. Just okay, don't that's put a the big butt in thing. the middle of your sentence. Uh, I mean, not, there, there's nothing wrong with having a big butt. I'm not saying that. But it, it would. now I'm going back to butt. I'm just a big contradiction this morning. That's what I am. Back to start over day, okay? Back to start over day. <sighs> Somebody said, you know what? We need a day. Today, what is today? June 5th. June 5th isn't celebrated. It's probably somebody's birthday, and somebody was like, you know what? We're not wanna, celebrating today enough. I want to celebrate starting over. So let's make it a day. Well, every day, other day is taken by every other topic in the world. So now we need to brainstorm and come up with a new topic. I almost feel like New Year's Day is the start over day. There's so right? many resolutions. It's already taken. But there's, there doesn't need to be a day to, uh, now I'm getting negative. Yeah, see, see how contagious this is? Negativity <clears throat> is contagious. There doesn't need to be a you day. You probably should not listen to this today. How about this? Just don't wait for a day to start over. Decide if you're not happy with where you're going. It can be any day. If you're putting the day on the calendar, like you do need to put a day on the calendar, mm -hmm. but don't wait for it. Put today on the calendar. Put tomorrow on the calendar to start over if that's what you need to do. Now my brain isn't even working. Uh, do you even know what he <clears throat> just said? Can you explain it to me in layman's terms? Yeah. Because it was it was like three layers too deep for me. I'm back to my big butt comments, and I'm like, I'm going to have haters for that one. Oftentimes, we are putting off. So you know that you need to make a change in your life. Yes. And you know you need to make it in June, July, August, whenever you need, know you need to make it. But you're like, you know what? For my next New Year's resolution, I'm going to... X. I'm okay. going to start a new diet program. I'm going to start journaling. I'm going to start doing whatever. Okay. Don't wait to start. Okay. First of all, our our Spark team here is so positive. Sheila says, morning. <sighs> and, and then we have a comment that says, my butt is bigger than yours. See how they're spinning it positive? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love this. <clears throat> Marilyn says, hello, Jana and Jason. And she's saying it very, very joyfully. So thank you. Thank you for lifting us up. Because as you can tell, we are in a funk. And we need to spin it this morning. We need to spin it. And it all started with starting over day. And when Jason told me that today was starting over day, I almost lost it because then he said, if at first you don't succeed, try and try and try again. And I thought, well, that whole and saying, that whole saying in itself is setting people up for failure. I know that it is meant to inspire us and it is meant to promote perseverance. And failure is part of the road to success. However, just the connotation of try, 
when we say in our brains, I will try, what we're really saying is... I can't. I can't. Or I, I'll just get halfway up, up the ladder. And then, and then you know what? I'll slide back down. And I'll try again That's the tomorrow. whole pressure cooker. You'll yeah, try I'll until try. you feel like you've made some, okay. some headway. Or you feel like you've hit an obstacle. And then you'll stop. And then I'll just try again. <clears throat> yeah, it's okay. I'll try there again. There is no try. There's, There's no only try. Do. I'll do. <laughs> I'll do. I'll do. I will I, do. I am what? I will do. I will do. I mean, it's all in the way you look at it. It is all the way, all in the way you perceive it. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, Jeff. Now we've got some sense in the room. And Marilyn says, you raise us up. Are you raise you me up? You raise me up when I am tired of trying. trying. Is that really the lyrics? No. That's, okay. that's the ones you just made up. I'm going to say, I'm going to have to write Michael W. Smith. <laughs> Is that who sings that song? I have no idea. Because that just came out of nowhere. Seems, yeah, it did. It's, uh, <laughs> it seems like that song's been a lot, around longer than him. <laughs> I mean, but I bet he's, he has sung it before. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> oh, oh it, it, I'm also in a little I bit think, of a mood because I was in there putting on mascara and then I just said, you know what, what time is it? And we were a minute late. We were a minute late. And I said, "Unexcusable, Jason, why didn't you tell me that I was a minute late? Like, I can't always be the whippersnapper. <laughs> it's just about showing up on time. That's all. But if I'm in there putting on my makeup, somebody needs to say, hey, Jana, you know, like, I can't be perfect all the time. You don't uh, have to be. No one wants perfect all the time. I know. Everyone just wants you. What I'm saying is... How about a little... What you're saying is, how about a little help? When yes. I'm, when I'm in the process and you say, give me some little timing reminders. Like, I can't always be... That's why we have, like, Google alerts on our calendar. Hey... Five minutes, ten minutes. Yeah, I can't always I be the wit. I you apologize. Know? I was grabbing coffees. I was fiddle farting. Yeah, yesterday Jason was fiddle farting, and all of a sudden I'm in my art room, and I hear this. Eh, 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 eh. I'm like, what is that noise? And I'm like, Tater, is that you? And then I was like, Tater, Tater. And then I look outside, and Tater's over at the window going. Eh. Let me in, let me in. How Jason, much is that doggy in the window? And I'm like, Jason, did you take Tater out for a walk and leave her outside? She, she said, I need some outside time and to just re recollect my thoughts and be alone. And I didn't know yeah. how long that meant. He started fiddle farting. That's what he did. What is fiddle farting anyway? Do we even know what fiddle farting is? Don't Google it. And do not look it up on Urban Dictionary. Why? It's not pretty. Because <laughs> you think of fiddle farting, you're like, right? I, I it's mean, probably what it sounds like when I try to play the fiddle. Because <laughs> I just do, I'm not good with stringed instruments yet. Can, can you play Devil Went Down to Georgetown? <laughs> to Georgetown? <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> you could end that one with like a, a really big, uh, you know, like a, a big, wet, juicy one. Oh. Really. Baby, <laughs> here I just had a big sip of coffee, a big juicy <gasps> sip of coffee. Oh, see, we should just start this over. Should we just start over since it is National Start Over Day? Well, <laughs> one of the things about starting over is sometimes it feels like you haven't made progress when you start over. Have we made any progress this morning with and our virtual coffee? <laughs> so, and I think that's where starting over, we have to focus <laughs> on what we learned in the first attempt. Okay, so what did we learn? So in that, we were just kind of fiddle farting. We, we learned that our attitude is contagious. That's for sure. Because I came in in a mood and then it, it quickly, I mean, quickly rubbed off on it, you. It changed my perspective uh, on, on what the National Start Over Day Yeah, is. because you came in, you were like, oh, it's National Start Over Day. And we're going to talk about that. Yeah. And, and so you had no idea talks. that I was going to be so snarky about it. Right. So what's up? <laughs> okay. So that that's, that's what we learned. So we can focus on the fact that we are starting over or we can focus on the things that we learned in the process of the first attempt and then go 
better the next time. So you're starting over with more experience from a different starting point. And that's the other lesson is where your focus goes is where your life is going to go. Yeah, too. So from here on out, we're almost 10 minutes in to our day. We are going to focus on the positive and we're going to go in this direction. Yeah, absolutely. And too many times we, we get caught up in the, the failure instead of the lessons learned on the way to that failure. Yes, so we are and going to have a failure in quotes because we can control our attitude. No I can control my emotions, my feelings, and I can control the energy that I bring. And I can also control my perspective. So we, there's three things that you can control in this, this world. There's three things that we have absolute control over. It's our perceptions, our decisions, and our actions. So if I take the rest of my day and I concentrate on focusing on my perception, my decisions and actions, and I choose to look for the positive, look for the best, and I choose to move forward in this direction, then I'm going to have better actions, great, better results, great rest of the day. So it's all about being aware and then consciously moving in the direction that you want to go. And I'm telling you, it's just these little things, being present, being aware, and making those decisions. And all of a sudden, these little decisions start adding up, and your life starts going in a better direction, and then it starts snowballing. And next thing you know, you have a 10x life. And perception is the first key in that equation. And it's so imperative to be aware of how can I look at this differently? So if you're feeling negative, if you're feeling like you're not progressing, if you if you have that, that feeling of this isn't good, mm -hmm. how can I look at this differently? What can I learn from this? It's those empowering questions. And spin it towards what's going to serve you the best, mm -hmm. what's, how, how you're going to be able to progress, and then decide, okay, is this leading me to where I want to go? Empowering questions and... If all else, just smile and laugh, mm. laugh, go back to fiddle farting. That, that's really where, where we have the turnaround because we started laughing. We started laughing. We started getting into our heart space and we just became present. And having all of you here really helped as well because <laughs> just, just having some energy to feed off of has lifted me up into a mood. I really feel like we did a spin positive in real time just now. Uh, we did. Thank you. Thank you for that. I greatly appreciate all of you. Have a wonderful day. And we'll Marilyn, be back we tomorrow. We will be praying for Leon. Prayers to Leon. Bye-bye. If the idea of living lucky appeals to you, visit us at startlivinglucky.com.